Hello, I'm Richard Hooper and this is Sat TV News. In the news this week, Optus Satellite has extended its services contract with Seven Network Limited for transponder capacity on the Optus D1 satellite. The financial terms of the contract re-sign are confidential, however the term will extend to 2021 and capacity requirements expanded from 18 MHz to 27 MHz. Optus Satellite has provided satellite broadcast support to seven networks since 1986. Asia Satellite Telecommunications has announced that the High Performance Asia Sat 9 satellite has arrived at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, where it will be launched aboard a Proton Breeze M vehicle provided by International Launch Services. Asia Sat 9, a replacement satellite for Asia Sat 4 at 122 degrees east, provides wider high power C band coverage and additional KU band capacity for new markets, including Myanmar and Indonesia, for direct to home television broadcast, video distribution, VSAT broadband networks, and mobility services across the Asia Pacific region. <laughs> For its ninth launch of the year and the fifth Ariane 5 mission in 2017 from the Guiana Space Centre in French Guiana, Ariane SPAS will orbit Intelsat 37E for the operator Intelsat and BSAT 4A for the manufacturer SSL in the framework of a turnkey contract for the Japanese operator Broadcasting Satellite System Corporation. And finally, as of today, Exact Earth in partnership with Harris Corporation is bringing five more satellites from its ever-growing real-time constellation into service. These additional satellites will raise the total to nine in its real-time system that has been successfully incorporated into Exact Earth services. Combined with its first-generation satellites, it is operating the largest satellite, AIS constellation, in the world. Eight more real-time satellites are set to launch with Iridium Next on October the 4th. Representing a brand new capability for the global maritime industry, Exact Earth effectively tracks more than 250,000 vessels worldwide. When fully deployed, the Exact Earth system will consist of more than 70 payloads, delivering actionable data in mere seconds, and will enable significant advances in maritime safety, security, and efficiency. That's all for this week. Thanks for watching.